Hi everyone, Ed here from 3D Natives, and today we're going to introduce you to the Nova 3D printer from Cosmix. The story of the Cosmix brand is quite interesting, as behind its name you can actually find printers of the French manufacturer Du Studio which was recently acquired by VS Projects. During the COVID-19 pandemic, VS Projects became famous for printing hundreds of thousands of face shields, mainly using Du Studio printers. All this PPE was made for the Vizier Solidaire charity, which provided around 1.5 million visors during the pandemic. The Nova is Cosmic's first 3D printer. However, it relies on years of experience and hundreds of thousands of print hours. We had the pleasure to test this newcomer to the desktop FTM market and today we're going to look back at our experience with it. Now that we have talked about Cosmic's origins, let's have a look at the Nova specs, starting with its hardware. Cosmix relied on well-known manufacturers, including Hiwin, E3D, SKF and Raspberry Pi to equip the Nova with quality components. Starting with the motion system, it uses a H-Bot configuration, which allows for better torque when compared to traditional motion systems, such as Cartesian and Corex-1. To do so, it uses a belt, SKR bearings, and two NEMA 17 stepper motors that drive the print head along the X and Y axes. Those axes ride smoothly on high wind linear rails, as for the print bed, it is raised and lower along two linear rails, thanks to a lead screw. Regarding the printing, Cosmix relies on an E3D V6 Hotten with a direct drive extruder. Compared to Bowden extruders, the small distance between the extruder and the nozzle means that there will be less tension exerted on the filament, thus enabling smaller retractions, less shrinking, and easier flexible filament printing. The Nova also includes a magnetic steel plate, which is flexible, and is covered with a PEI coating for better grip during printing. This setup is capable of reaching a maximum temperature of 295 degrees Celsius for the hot end and 110 degrees Celsius for the print bed. By default, the Nova comes as an open 3D printer, but when coupled with the optional doors and top cover, the Nova can become completely enclosed. On top of all the quality components from well-known manufacturers, the Nova also uses a few 3D printed parts, including a housing which protects the print head's PCB. During our testing, the sheaths coming out of this case regularly block the homing of the printer. Once we mention this problem to Cosmix, they sent us a printable file of an improved version, which, once installed, solves the problem. As for the brains of the machine, the Nova uses a Raspberry Pi 4, a SSD and a large 7-inch touchscreen. Thanks to its integrated computer, the Nova can benefit from a powerful software, which we'll now go over. The Nova runs a well-known open source software called Octoprint, which is used to connect printers to the cloud. Thanks to its integrated Raspberry Pi, the Nova can host its own local network, be controlled and monitored remotely. For the firmware, Cosmix once again decided to differ from other FDM 3D printers by going with Clipper. Compared to Marlin, Clipper reduces the printer's workload by using the Raspberry Pi to do all the math, sending simpler instructions and allowing for better communication with the printer. We particularly liked the presence of notifications and alerts during the operation of the Nova. On top of Octoprint's web interface, the Nova can be controlled thanks to its large touchscreen, which uses Octodash as its interface. Cosmix actively works with this plugin's developer to offer a customized interface for their machine. On the slicer side of things, Cosmix recommends using Super Slicer. It's a Prusa slicer fork, meaning it shares many of its features, like the standard moving ones and the more advanced ones, such as paint on supports and easy orientation. Super Slicer differs from Prusa Slicer by providing alternative advanced calibration and better design features. Now that we have explained how the Nova works and runs, let's see what it's really capable of doing. During our prints, we are able to use standard materials such as PLA and PETG, but also flexible materials like TPE. 
thanks to direct drive extrude. When installed, the enclosure also allowed us to print more technical filaments like ABS and ASA. To start, we loaded up some PLA, which was quite easy since once we inserted the material into the print head, it automatically heated up and extruded the filament without even using the touchscreen. We then sliced and sent our model to the printer directly through Super Slicer. Once the printing started, we were able to see a preview of our print on the Nova screen, along with a print time estimate. Now that we have talked about the compatible materials, let's take a look at our prints. we were able to print detailed and technical models that were all well reproduced. During our printing, we did notice some stringing and bridging issues, which were fixed by tweaking the default profile's temperature, cooling and retraction settings in SuperSlice. After having printed 48 units of the same file, we can really testify for the Nova small series production capabilities. At a cost of 2,990 euros on its own, or 3,490 euros when combined with its doors and top cover, the Nova relies on solid components from well-known manufacturers, thus aiming for reliability and repeatability. Thanks to its 295 degrees centigrade maximum extrusion and 110 degrees centigrade maximum bed temperature, the Nova can print from a broad material portfolio which gets even larger when the machine is fully enclosed thanks to its optional doors and top cover. Despite its young age, Cosmix has proven itself capable of manufacturing a competitive machine. This is mainly thanks to the years of experience inherited from Do Studio and the multiple thousand print hours carried out for VS projects. Although the printer's hardware is already capable, the Nova can sometimes lack explanations or tutorials which can make it harder to control the machine. Thankfully, the team is very reactive and always seems available to help. Plus, Cosmix told us that they should be releasing all kinds of tutorials sometimes in the future, some of which could be directly displayed on the printer's integrated touchscreen. Despite its relatively small print volume of 16.2 liters, the Nova tries to cover the biggest scope of applications possible. To do so, Cosmix is working with different Octoprint plugin developers to hopefully integrate itself better in multiple workspaces. After hundreds of prints done with the Nova, it is time to give our verdict. We rated the Nova with our usual criteria, giving it a final score of 8.9 out of 10. Read our written article here to find out exactly how we got to this score. To discover other 3D printers tests we did, click here. See you soon for our next test on the 3D Native Lab.